Hey, what's up guys? This is the new Alexa Voice Remote Pro. I recently reviewed it and got good questions out of there. So in this video, I'm gonna concentrate on answering those questions, which is pretty much mainly focusing on the customization of buttons one and two and what you can do with them. So the first question was, can I switch HDMI inputs with either one or two? And the answer is yes, I will demo that momentarily. The second question was, can I assign them to do routines and control smart home devices? The answer is yes to that as well. I will demo that. Number three is, does it feel more premium compared to these two remotes? And the answer is yes. And number four is, if you add this as a new remote control, will the old remote control still work? The answer is yes. Unless you go and explicitly remove this controller, they both will work fine. So as you guys can see. Now, let's focus on the customizations of buttons one and two. Starting with the first question is, can I switch HDMI inputs? So the way you switch, in, well, the way you customize buttons, let's, let's start from there, is you go here, Fire TV Remotes, you click on Remote Pro, then you click on Button 1 Shortcut. Now, Button 1 Shortcut is obviously the Button 1, and these are the actions that you can do. So if you go to your apps, these are my apps that I have. So let's say if I want to open up, assign it to open up Crunchyroll, I would select this. And if I pressed one, it would open up Crunchyroll. Now, the question was, can I switch HDMI inputs? Well, this is not so obvious on how to do. And so I'm gonna demonstrate this and you guys will see. So right off the bat, when you go here, you click on your apps, it's just apps here, so there's no option to switch HDMI input. So it's not obvious that you can do that. And then number two is when you click on more actions, it's like, oh, maybe it's here, but it's not here. It says go to guide, watch list, notifications, my stuff, music, and photos. So these are the options that are here. However, there is a third hidden option, which is Alexa commands. So if you say something to Alexa, you can actually come back here and assign that as a button. So for example, Alexa, switch to HDMI one. So I asked it to switch because now it's gonna remember that. Alexa, switch to HDMI three. Okay. Now, if I go to settings, because I recently said those commands, go to the same place. Well, notice they're here now. So if I click on this one, and then to come back, I'll go to button two, and I'll wait a second, then I'll click on this one. So now button one, if I press it, will actually switch to HDMI one. And that's how you do it. And button two okay. will, will go back to HDMI three. Okay. Now, routines work exactly the same way. I made two temporary routines just to demonstrate, and it's not perfect, but it will give you guys a good glimpse of how it works. So, Alexa, movie time. It's 529 p.m. You know what that means. Movie time. So as you guys saw, it said that the text and then the speech and it turned off my lights and it turned on the background lights. So basically I'm showing you guys that it can control smart home devices. Now if I say Alexa, movie finished. How was the movie? Smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. So as you guys can see, the other lights, the colorful lights turned off. My regular lights did turn on. Now one of my lights, again, this is a temporary setup. When it turns on, I actually still need to hit this power button so it can go on. Uh, but again, super temporary setup to demonstrate that. Now, because I gave those commands, if I go to settings, if I go here, here and I go to button one. Now I can reassign button to say movie time and then I could say button two to do movie finished, which are my two routines, which execute a list of commands when I issue them. So now if I come and I press one, 
The time is 5.30 p.m. And it does that. So I'll turn off my lights. Movie time. And boom. And then, you know, if I press 2, that means movie is finished. How is the movie? Smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. And again, all my lights go on except this one. I actually have to turn on by remote control. Again, temporary setup. So basically, any Alexa command you give, you can go there. It will show up and then you can actually assign it. And then these buttons will actually work. All right, okay. So this remote feels more premium because it doesn't feel creaky compared to these two. Maybe very, very little, but it's not really flexible at all. And the plastic feels more durable compared to these two, especially compared to this one. This one feels the most creaky and the most flexible. This one, it feels better than this, but not as good as this. However, when I say premium, this is the most premium of the remotes, the one for Apple TV 4K, because this thing's actually made out of aluminum, has no flex, no creakiness at all. And we have the Roku Ultra remote, which is kind of on par with this. This one also feels pretty good for a plastic. It's a hard plastic like this one. Both of these are around the same. You download the Amazon Alexa app from the App Store or the Play Store. And when you initially get here, you're on home. On the top left, you should see routines. If you don't see that, if you click on the bottom right more, you should see routines in the middle. So you click on that. These are the two routines that I made. So if I click on movie time, I said that. So, I, so my trigger words were movie time. I can make my trigger words say, I don't know, Halloween pumpkin and click next. And now when I say Halloween pumpkin, that's going to trigger these actions. And then, and you can do a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, this can be like a one hour long video on what you can do with this, but Alexa will do these actions. So it will tell me the current time, say, you know what that means, movie time, turn on the background lights and, you know, turn off the other three lights. If I want to add another action, I just go here, click on add action. I can select a whole bunch of these things. I can click on smart home. I could click on plugs and I could say, let's just say, turn on the Christmas tree and boom. So that, that could be one of the actions. As an example, if I don't want that, I just click the little minus button or I can have it turn off. Um, so these are essentially routines. And then when you save them, you go back and you're good to go. And again, the, for the text, you can pretty much make it say anything you want. So instead of saying, you know what that time that means, I could say, hey, subscribe to this channel. Thanks for the support. And so if I click next, next, and boom, it will say that. And if I wanna do one action before another, if I tap on this, I can actually hold it and move it. And it could, you know, Turn on the background lights for first, then tell me the current time. So you could do a lot of stuff with routines, a whole bunch of stuff. And when you're done, it saves it, takes like a minute to update. It actually takes even less than that to update and you're good to go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. And if you guys are wondering, this was the smart home device that I was using to turn on and off the light switches. So the lights were actually connected through here and I would just turn this on or off. And I'll put links in the description below if you guys are interested in grabbing one.